But that was absolutely incredible having the Queen walking into the room for the first time at Buckingham Palace. Um, it, I, I mean, there are no words to describe it. And um, I was very, very, very nervous. And I, I knew all the protocol, um, but she walked in very, very quickly, very calmly. And I, I curtsied, but she didn't see that. But then she went to sit down on this very beautiful chair that had been set up in the middle of the room for her, which was on a raised dais. And um, she just carried on talking, but her, um, secretary, male secretary was in the room standing on by the side and he was watching while I was uh, measuring the Queen's bust with calipers because um, I had to go backwards and forwards and measure. That's how I get the bust to look realistic. And um, he was there to make sure I wasn't going to do anything dangerous. That carried on for maybe 15 minutes. And then what happened was she, he sort of left the room and he must have felt that it was time he could go. And I just decided I was going to listen to the Queen more and not uh, worry too much about the measuring because I was too nervous. When I was with the Queen, the first sitting, she talked quite a lot and she was very, very concerned about the people walking outside um, the palace. There were so many people. And when I did that in those days, there was a road all the way around the, the, the middle statue of Queen Victoria. And she was very worried that somebody would get run over because nobody seemed to be looking where they're going. So she talked about that quite a lot. And then she chatted about a journey she was making the next day or that week. She was going up north on a train. And um, she talked about lots and lots of things about visitors that come to the palace, you know, where they stay in the palace. Um, and the hour went very quickly. I had three sittings with the Queen to complete the bust. And um, the first two sittings, I would say I was so nervous. It was just too ridiculous, you know. But by the third sitting, um, I had I felt more comfortable, really. Um, I had devised a way of asking her, without asking her outright how she liked the sculpture, but I, I talked about her hair, if she'd like to have it shorter. And she said, yes, maybe just a little bit. And so I chopped off some of the clay until she said, that's fine. And then the last question was, are you happy for this to go to my studio now? And then to the foundry. And she said, yes, and don't fiddle with it when you get it back. So that finger up, I've said this so many times, but that was such a fabulous thing because she really loved it, you know. I finished sculpting um, the Duke of Edinburgh in, in the year 2000. And um, he, I had four sittings for the Duke of Edinburgh. That was my first royal. So obviously my first sitting was the most nerve wracking thing I've ever experienced. But actually after four sittings, again, I felt comfortable with him and he really loved them bust, very much so, that it, it actually, he chose it to go to uh, Windsor Castle for his 90th birthday. And um, that bust is in the palace. And when I went to visit the Queen for my first sitting, I took along a photograph of the Duke of Edinburgh's bust to show her. And I actually said to her, um, would you like to see this bust, Mum? And she said, oh, that's, you know, very, very interesting. Where is that? So I said, it's in the palace. And she said, well, I haven't seen that. She said, I must go and see that. Where is it? So I said, it's just, you know, in the entrance where all the visitors come in, the guests. And so she said, I'm going to go and see it. So this was on the third sitting. And um, after this, um, Jack and myself, my husband and myself, were asked to go to a charity event at the palace. And it was one of these events where the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh walked around the room and talked to everybody. It was very, very lovely. And um, and she came up to me and she immediately went, I haven't been yet, but I am going, I promise you. So, you know, that was amazing because there were, must be a hundred people in the room. Well, I went, before I sculpted the Queen, I, I went to the palace to see um, the room and um, Angela Kelly, who was her lady in waiting. And I was able to choose the tiara and the jewellery, which was so incredible. So the first bust was going to be unveiled by 
Her Majesty the Queen for the Scouts at Baden Powell House. And she came to the unveiling. It was the most incredible, amazing event, really amazing. They closed all the streets off and it was fantastic. And then I said to her, would she like to have one in the palace next to the Duke of Edinburgh? And she said, that would be very, very nice. That, that would be nice, you know. And I, she said, from she was looking at the photograph, maybe I was showing her then, I can't remember exactly. But she said, but I wouldn't want the tiara on next to the Duke of Edinburgh as he's got just a shirt and tie. So I wouldn't want my tiara and I would want us to be the same. And I thought that was very lovely, you know, that she was so caring. Um, obviously loved him very, very much. And um, those two are there in the palace together like that. And all the others have the tiara on. This is quite, a, quite unusual. I was 14 years old and I was at school. Art was my best subject. Um, I slept through all the other subjects, so this was it. And uh, one day they said, would we do sketches of Roman um, buildings? Um, and I picked this out of a book and I started doing this in charcoal. Um, and the amazing thing was the feeling that I got when I was doing it. I had this unbelievable feeling that, um, oh, it makes me quite emotional, really quite strange because I, I know now that's where I got, that's how it happened. I, I had to do sculpture from then because I felt as though I was sculpting this as I was drawing it. And, um, and that's where I wanted, that's when it began. That's actually where it began. And it's been an obsession. I mean, you can see I've done, I must have done over 500 pieces. So it's been an extraordinary journey. The sketch of the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen. Um, I started sketching while I was sculpting her. And I just felt, you know, that I had so many odd sketches, just a nose or an eye or a cheek. And I just felt like doing a whole, you know, the whole face. Um, and um, that was in around 2008. The, these sketches of the Duke of Edinburgh, um, I sketched these in the year. Uh, 1999 to 2000 and I did quite a few drawings, preparatory drawings before I did the sculpture um, and um, I felt you know the more I do the more easy it's going to be for me when I'm in the room on the first time. It's wonderful to be collaborating with Qantas Gallery and for the Royal Bus to be there at this wonderful exhibition. This is going to be so sensational to have all these stories documented and for the public to be able to see it.